club. Ah, uh, before I get to just mention, my goals are something that I'm trying to make achievements. I'm tired of dying now, life ain't nothing but pain. First of all, uh, good morning. It's top of the top. Got to give our graces to God, you know. Um, I'm gonna speak upon this DMX situation. First of all, I said I wasn't gonna ever, I wasn't gonna do it, but it's a certain individual that that done made two video trolls about DMX. Um, the second one really got to me when he said uh, DMX had a choice. I'm talking about uh. Charleston White. First of all, I'm gonna say this to the to the, to the world. If you grew up in an urban community, right, you seen what they call it the ghetto. You seen the most terrifying things you can actually imagine of another human being doing to another human being. First of all, killings is at an all time high in the urban community, even to this day. It's even worse now because they got legal substances of guns, weapons, and everything like that now. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, you got punks walking around with with guns now. Legal guns. The ones that couldn't fight, the ones still can't fight, but they can shoot. You know what I mean? And before any of that happened, I can, I can say this. The early 2000s and partial of the 90s. It was a lot of killing, a, a, a lot of a lot of everything going on that I witnessed. But at some point of view, you um, you grow you grow to to have that be a normal, which is that's not right either, you know. So as you get older, you know, um, it all depends on how the way you deal with it. Because a lot of us lost friends. We lost family members to gun violence. We lost, uh, man, we almost lose our lives. Like, if you get caught up in the wrong situation at the wrong time, and it don't even have nothing to do with you. It's just for the simple fact where you at, you know, or where you live. And some, I done seen some people that I know turn to drugs. They, you know, they, they turn to alcoholics and everything like that. To It's actually like self-medication. Like, it's to them. You know what I'm saying? Alcohol is like a self-medicated thing. So, therefore, when you see a lot of individuals in the hood, you know, drinking, you know, on the weekend and stuff like that, it ain't because they're having a good time, man. It's because they, they trying to erase something out their head that they didn't seen before or they recently just saw. You understand? So, that's what I say what DMX suffer from. And if you can't tell, he came out with a TV show that involved his family before, and as you can tell, like, he was kind of off, off spring a little bit in there, you know, but we love DMX, you know what I'm saying, but I really want to attack Charleston uh, White on this, first of all, the, I can tell you never been through anything, you too childish when it comes to the internet, like, you too childish, the thing you said about Lil Durk, it got to me too, but when you speaking about a legend, an individual that's a household name that everybody in the world love, everybody in the music industry love. You know, it don't matter if it's fake love or it's real love. I can anybody that been been in the music industry, you could tell who love who. You know what I'm saying? But everybody loved DMX. He take pictures with everybody. He's not too big for himself. Half of the time, be forgetting he he's a uh, a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, this is make that's still making a humble dude after all these years and after all the hits and after all of the albums, he still remained being just a humbled individual that never think that he was too big for anybody. You know what I'm saying? So for a person that's a nobody, a wanna be YouTuber, that's too old to be a YouTuber, you let me tell it. You would have no right to say what somebody had a choice to doing. You know what I'm saying? You had a choice to be a punk, like what you are right now. And I know you're not supposed to 
I'm not trying to curse, but you know, excuse my language if I am going a little bit out of pocket, but I am kind of upset because I told myself I wasn't going to say anything about DMX, man. Like, my father, he's a, he's a big fan of DMX. I'm a big fan of DMX. You know, I, you know, man, it's, it, it's, it's sad though, but you know, like I said and say, growing up in the urban community, people choose different things to cope with their pain. You know what I'm saying? To cope with what they done seen. To cope with anything. Because I'm going to tell you this. Seeing somebody get their life taken away from you, away from them, in front of you, and the blood is on your shirt, and it happened to be your friend, it happened to be somebody you probably just see every day, and you say, what's up to? And they end up getting their life taken in front of you. That's traumatizing. He speaks about that a lot in his music, if you pay attention to it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... The only outlet that most of us have is hip hop, is rap. You know what I'm saying? Or we just speak our mind in general to, you know, sometimes you can't talk to your mother about everything, but you can talk to her about certain things. But when it comes to certain individuals that want to ask you questions and everything like that, you know, you go ahead and cough up that tea, you know, with the ice in the cup and, you know, let them have it. And you let them see that they can't, you can't afford to pass judgment on nobody because you've seen too much and you've done too much, you know. But in DMX perspective, he tried to side in with, he sided in with God. I'm going to say he sided in, he said he tried, he sided in with God because everything that he ever done, he said a prayer before and after he did it. You understand? So that's what made people love DMX because, you know, when you got a strong willing like that with God, that means can't nobody harm you. No man, no no weapon can actually harm you. You know? So it's like in the condition that he's in right now, it's 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 a fairly it's a fairly it's a fairly do that is part of his, his, he's part of that problem, but no one on this earth can pass judgment on anyone cuz everybody done something crooked. You ain't got to do, do drugs or be an alcoholic to to not have the right to pass judgment. You probably was a crook and you just got away with a bunch of words and a bunch of movements and you made yourself clean up and everything like that. Which is there's nothing wrong with that. But just understand, you can never pass judgment on anybody. You know what I'm saying? Charleston White, please. You know what I'm saying? You, I know about your skeletons in your closet, playboy. I got people in Chicago too. So, you ain't the only one that got an email. My email get filled up with information about certain individuals anyway. So, if I get pissed off at a certain individual, guess what? I either get a text message, a phone call, or email. You know what I'm saying? So, you have no right to pass judgment on DMX. Number one, you still is a nobody. Until you made an impact on this world that made everybody know who you are, not even then, you can't even pass judgment then. Because you want to know why? It's a bunch of somebodies that don't like don't, don't like DMX. But they're not even speaking out. they just just sending prayers to it. Because you want to know why? It's not cool to die like that. You want to know when it's cool to die? It's when you're laying in bed and you got your kids around you. And you got their kids around you. You know what I'm saying? You got your grandbabies, your great-grandbabies around you. You got warm in your bed. That's when it's cool. So at the end of the day, man, everybody just this whole day. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all, if you if you gonna say a prayer for somebody, say a prayer for DMX kids, man. Because at the end of the day, that's their father. You know, and and you can't you only get one of them. Just the same way you get one mother. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Charleston White, I don't know what what you on, but you need to get checked. And I mean check for real. Like, I ain't gonna say put your hands on him, but tell him to shut his mouth. Because at the end of the day, bro, you hiding in a rat hole somewhere in Illinois. That can't nobody see you, can't nobody touch you. You know, you just like a six nine at the end of the day. You you pop out and you do alive and then you pop back into your red hole and then you you crawl back out when when the coast is clear and nobody's around and they can't see you you know what i'm saying i personally don't like you i'm gonna be honest with you i don't like you 
After the stuff you said about Lil Durk and this this d demon whatever gatekeeper crap, bro, like you are nothing but a a, a thirsty a thirsty social media ant. You just thirsty for attention. But I'm giving you the attention, but I'm letting you know, I'm saying this because I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? What I really want to say and what I really want to do, I can't do it right now. Because I got to keep it, keep it at a, a minimum of respect for my, my look. You know what I'm saying? My way. I have to not go that route. Because at the end of the day, I'm not an ignorant person. But when I don't like somebody... And then you make a, and you make a, you, you made two videos about this man, and this man probably don't even know who you are. Probably don't even know you exist. So what do you mean he had a choice? No. Yes, he had a choice not to do that, but at the end of the day, though, like I said, people cope with different things to erase the stuff they've been through out of their mind. You know, you gotta, you gotta realize that. So if you have if you haven't been through anything, you haven't grown up in urban community in an urban community or been involved with the community, you can't pass judgment on anybody. Straight up. And to be honest with you, can't nobody pass judgment on anybody. It don't matter what you've been through or what you haven't been through. You can't pass judgment on nobody. It's in the Bible. Can't pass judgment. How can you pass judgment on somebody? How can I say you a bad person? I can tell you I don't like you. That's being honest right there. So, on a side note, man. The picture in the corner right here. Everybody pray for him. Everybody pray for DMX, man. Because I'm going to tell you, a coma is... It's only, one, it's only two ways out of it. From a blessing, you walk, you wake up, and everybody else know the know the other answer, you know. So we don't want to lose a good brother towards this. I hope when I hope he make it out of this and uh, you know realize like you know life can be snatched away from you just as fast enough it can be given to another human being that's being born, you know. On that note, y'all already know how this go. It's your only host, BZ995. Prayers for the X. Hashtag that. Prayers for the X. On WC Radio. Peace. My goals are something that I'm trying to make achievements I'm tired of dying now, life ain't nothing but pain Every time I look at different nurse, I think of my name My shit is easy, ain't nobody else like this Come on, stop trying to check, you can't like this I'm so 